get into explaining to you guys what the difference is between a good lace and a bad lace now when you're looking at two different laces if you are a newbie when it comes to lace wigs it's very easy to not really be able to figure out the difference instantly when you look at it side by side they pretty much look the same there's nothing wrong with that the whole point of this video is for you guys to learn how to not be confused when it comes to two different laces if you want to see how I installed my wig and how I got it to look all nice and flawless it will be at the end of the video okay so watch this part and then just watch the whole video okay <laughs> diva's wigs actually sent me they gave me a normal lace and they gave me actual fake lace now usually when i get a wig from a company i like to do a full unboxing on camera and show you guys everything but for this one i kind of needed to touch it and feel it and see and actually write down my notes on it so that i can kind of figure out what the real difference is it's really easy for a company to tell you this is good this is bad but if you don't if i don't actually get to touch it and play with it and feel then this video is pointless you know so i had to actually take it out and do my homework and write my notes for the fake hd lace one thing that i definitely noticed from it the color was different there's been laces that i've received that are just so weirdly colored ashy they're green gray i don't know if you ever seen like those gray laces or something and they just don't look good they they're not tonal so they will never match your skin even if you try to tint it they will still look bad now color is really important when you're looking at a lace because a color kind of tells you whether or not your wig is going to melt into your skin it's going to be seamless or it's going to look invisible on your skin if the color is already very weird and sketchy looking chances are it's not a good lace and you're going to put in all this work for it to still not look good so instantly if you see a lace that has bad color don't even attempt to try it to try to put it on i mean if you bought it and you spent your money on it try to get the use out of it because obviously <laughs> we're not trying to waste the coins out here you know we don't want to waste our money you know we already have a wig so there are ways to get around it but it just sucks because you pretty much got a bad lace okay when i look at these two i can see that the the good lace is is very tonal okay it matches my skin it's not the same color as my skin but it's more of a neutral color that i can get to match my skin whereas this one is so white and so light of a color and just a weird brownish color that is going it's never going to match my skin perfectly and i'm gonna have to put in so much work for it to look as natural as possible another way to determine if a lace is bad is if it's super stretchy so i'm gonna actually just pull this off because okay so we know this one is the bad lace because it has a piece of paper attached to it but this lace is so stretchy so stretchy okay and like it just even holds the shape of it which is still kind of bad but it's super 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 stretchy and yes you want your lace to have a little bit of stretch you don't want it to be just stiff and firm but it's way too stretchy like overly overly stretchy <laughs> um and the reason why i don't care for super stretchy laces is because when it's time to put on my head it makes it even harder it makes it it doesn't hold the it's mold like it doesn't stay shaped on your head the way you want it to be shaped on your head like i can't explain it i hope i'm explaining it as best as possible but it's not going to give you the that finished result that we are all striving for it's going to actually i don't know if you've ever seen a lace that's just really weird and wavy even though you thought that you put it down super nice and smooth it's still not going to stay put because it's so stretchy so typically this lace well it's gonna feel very flimsy it just it's just too stretchy and flimsy okay and that already should be a clue for you to be like okay no i don't want this on my head another way to determine is this is really hard now back then when i used to wear wigs no no no, not even that one time i had this wig on and when i say it was so scratchy and itchy it's a harder texture like when you just put it on your head 
you already know it's gonna be uncomfortable now for me if you guys have been following me for a long time you guys know when it comes to wigs I need it to be a hundred percent comfortable I cannot have a wig that is super scratchy um, and there are laces that actually scratch your scalp because it's so rough of a material which is what a fake lace would feel like I can't have a wig like that on my head because then at that point I just want to take it off it's uncomfortable I'm scratching my head because it's rubbing against my skin and it's just not feeling good if it's a good lace it should not cause any discomfort to your scalp to your skin it should honestly just lay there and just feel like nothing okay okay now when it comes to a good lace There are many ways to figure out if it's a good lace okay there's several ways so when you think of an HD lace you should think of these specific words delicate less obvious invisible seamless softer transparent not itchy okay those are the words that should instantly come to your mind so here right now I have the um, super HD Swiss lace the wig that they sent me is actually with the HD super um, the super fine HD Swiss lace and it actually looks really good especially up close I'm actually highly impressed and it looks cute you can tell when a lace is good because it blends so well with your skin one you want your lace to be transparent on your skin now a lot of the times it's not going to be transparent I'm gonna keep it a thousand percent real but for the most part you can pretty much fix it up to be as transparent as possible on your skin okay so it allows there's a little bit more wiggle room when it comes to a good lace if it's a bad lace there is no wiggle room okay if you are dark skin and you try to tint it, it is not going to take. Also, if it's a good lace, it's going to be nice and soft. Okay, so this is on my head. And I also have a uh, wig cap underneath. And I can't feel no discomfort. There, there is no discomfort going on as far as right here, the part that is actually on my skin. So it's a little bit of a softer material. It feels smoother to the touch. Okay, whereas a bad HD will be super rough. You, it feels rough. Not as bad as a brilliant pad for the bad HD but along those lines <laughs> okay and then it should also be thinner it shouldn't be thick at all it should actually be as thin not as thin as possible but it should be thin okay we don't want our lace to be thick because it's not going to melt in your skin the thicker it is the more it's going to sit on top of your skin without even trying to attempt to be molded and melted into your skin whereas the good lace it's gonna melt into your skin as best as possible first of all the first thing that stands out automatically is the color like I was telling you before this one is like a weird orangey tint and it's actually really pale on the skin so it looks really white on the skin um, it doesn't look natural you're gonna need a lot of foundation and makeup to kind of make this blend into your skin um, this is the good lace and the way I'm gonna remember this by is the white piece of paper so we have the good lace right here up close they look a whole lot like the same okay up close they do look the same I'm not gonna even lie they look entirely the same but actually if you look really hard <laughs> you can actually see there is a difference this one has the top one the top one has a lighter look it's a little bit more ashier whereas the bottom one is blended in a tad bit more with my skin and then look after I stretched it this is the shape that it took Eh, this is not gonna work for nobody and then for this one which is the good lace you can you can stretch it but it's not like flimsy like the other one. I can't really show you how thick one is, but this one is thinner and this one is thicker. I want to show you guys how the wig looks. Again, this is from Diva's Wigs. Inside, you gotta have your, your bag to store your wig. This is how the wig looks. On the inside, you know, you can add an adjustable headband, which they do provide you with. And then there is the lace in the back. Perfect, and it's pre-plugged. Yo, get in your bag. Where's your coffee at? Please, please some coffee. I did have coffee. I don't think the coffee's working anymore. Okay, so since the headband is placed a little far back, I am going to actually just gel this down. So now 
now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just uh, cool off my hot comb. Again, this is one of the best hot combs I've ever used in my entire life, okay? I have a whole video on this on my YouTube channel, so I'll link that, uh, I'll show you the video right here, and then I'll try to remember to link it right here. Okay, so go ahead and check that out if you wanna know how to use a hot comb properly and which one I'm using. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just comb the hairline back before I go ahead and cut the lace off. Okay, so right now, I have the wig on my head. Um, it is a little bit white underneath, or I just think either my eyes are bugging, or my camera's off, or my mirror is just doing its own thing, because I'm seeing two different things with this. So far, so good. When you look up close, um, bro, are you in focus? Cause I'm about to get really fucking pissed off if you're not. It is a little white looking, but I'm wondering if that's because, um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just swoopity swoopity swoop this thing out. I'm going for a middle part and I wanna do these two parts folded back. So let's go ahead and do that. Again, this is not much talking. I'm not doing much talking in this video because I'm really focusing on the education part, which you should have watched in the beginning. But feel free to continue watching and vibe out to the music. First of all, this brush is freaking amazing. Like, it's doing the entire job for me without me having to really do much. Like, wow, like, this brush is amazing. Like, I wonder how much it costs. <laughs> they sent this to me, but it's really, 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 really good of a brush, so. Yo, this is like literally my favorite tool like I just cannot get over how it makes my hairline always look like so slayed and laid and just amazing like, like seriously like one of my favorites um, I didn't do the edges on this side so I'm gonna go ahead and just do the edges on my left side and as you can see I'm doing very neutral um, light baby hair it comes in my mouth So what I'm gonna do now is just pluck my part to be a little bit wider because it is very skinny. Enjoy this video I hope you can successfully spot a good from a bad lace and I hope you guys will remember this so if you do receive a bad lace you guys will now be experts and know which lace needs to go and which lace can stay okay um, I do want to give you guys a full 360 of this hair because I love it and I hope you guys love it too <laughs> Look really natural so this is it up close yes baby nice and blended matches well I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys first of all guys my tree is gonna come down don't ask me about it in the comments but it will be down very soon okay